is Hoplite a failure? As of the day this video is posted, October 14th, 2024, Hoplite is a one-year-old baby, and this baby has gotten a lot of glaze, a lot of criticism, and no bitches, because no one on this server goes outside. Just kidding. Well, not really. But today, I'm gonna give you the Hoplite experience in 10 minutes, and I've made a list of tasks so that whether you're an experienced Hoplite player or just was curious about the server, instead of me yapping at you about what I think, Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna talk about why I hate this server because I have nothing better to do. You can easily decide for yourself whether it's a failure and whether it's worth playing. And then at the end, I'll yap about what I think. The first task is to join a game. Now, most of you are Minecraft players and probably have no life, no bitches, and no friends, so we're just gonna go with solos. Now, the first thing you notice when joining a Hoplite pregame lobby, besides the screaming children, of course. Michi, the Join the VC, join the VC. I add you to one. I like kids. There's a couple things in your hotbar a pickaxe and a book. With the pickaxe, you can choose a class. I won't get into it too much, but you start off with different tools or weapons at the beginning of the game, and it can play to more specific strategies depending on what you choose. For now, we'll go with the default miner kit. If you open the book, you'll see that there's several pages of custom crafts. Now, this tends to be a little overwhelming for new players, but you get a notification in chat when you have the ingredients for something, and if you ever need to reference it, you can just use the book or type slash recipe in chat. When the game starts, you suddenly become Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon, except you have a parachute instead of falling to your death. You'll probably go, ooh, what is that structure? Surely there's some yummy loot in there. And then some other people will get it before you No. Do. I'm not a party pooper. This is just the hoplite experience, like I said. So after grabbing some wood, pause. After fisting a tree, you go down into the mines and craft your first custom craft, the smelter pick. With the smelter pick, you mine a bunch of ores and hopefully some diamonds so that you can make an enchanting table and a diamond sword. Diamonds. Oh my god, and I got four. Holy shit. More diamonds. By the time you're all geared up, the 15 minute grace period is coming to an end and you head to the surface. Jesus. In an alternate timeline, instead of spending all your time in the cave, you rush the nether. But for probably 90% of you guys, you're not that guy, pal. You just can't beat the sweats that play every day and make it in the nether in the first two minutes. So back to reality, you head to the surface and you pray you find someone that fulfills two qualifications. They're poor and they're washed. But instead, you find the best player in the game instantly. And you just get absolutely sauced up. Or you get third party, arguably more annoying than the sweat. Game sense in this game is huge and it can take some time to develop, which can be pretty frustrating when you're still learning because you just, you just get cleaned a lot. I mean, take it from me. I have over three days of playtime on this server, and I'm still ass. In my defense, though, I feel like I'm pretty average on Hoplite. Not the worst, but nowhere near close to the best. So I think my experience is a pretty accurate representation of the average player's experience. At this point, maybe you've played a couple games and have just gotten absolutely bent over, clapped up, and destroyed, so you take a break to wander around the lobby. You discover this cool-looking hallway with all these shiny, legendary weapons, and actually pretty interesting, not-too-difficult parkour course. And at the center of the lobby, you see the NPCs. I won't bore you with the specifics, so I'll make this quick. On the left is a coin shop where you can upgrade any of the six classes, a token shop where you can use tokens you get from the battle pass to purchase cosmetics, Dingle's Deliveries, which, fun fact, is a guy in some of Speed Silver's, the owner's, Battle Royale videos. Yo, Dingle, Dingle. Get up here, Dingle. And on Hoplite, he gives you some free stuff every day, week, and month. Yay, I love free stuff. You know what else is free? Click on the subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Winton. There's also the Mystery Crates, where you can get a free random cosmetic theme to the latest update. I actually got my little pet, Winton the Warden, back when the theme was about the deep dark and all skulky, so shout out Winton. Oh yeah, then there's Hoplite stats bot. He's just always there for some reason. Why is he there? What do you want? What do you want? And after discovering all this, you've forgotten the painful sting of losing in Minecraft PvP, so you decide, ooh, what's this other game mode they have? Welcome to Hoplite Duels, formerly known as Hell. If you've ever had the urge to get good at PvP, you've probably logged on to another server, PvP Legacy, where you can fight people in an arena and customize kits. This is basically just that, except there's also a competitive game mode. But why was it known as Hell, Subnappa? I'm so glad you asked, Winton. You see, back in June, the 2v2 game mode was a 5v5 game mode, where the top players in the queue would choose teammates like elementary school dodgeball, and apparently everyone hated it, because if you lose a teammate, then it's just over for you. It's just not fun, because it's an outnumbered fight. I personally wouldn't know, because I was on vacation, but we're in 2v2s now, and a lot of the top Hoplite streamers play it all the time, so must be pretty good. I tried it out because I hadn't tried duels this season, but in short, it's a regular battle royale kit, plus you get a random legendary item, and it's best to add a three. You get a rank after 10 games. I placed iron four, which is low-key embarrassing, but whatever. Iron four. <laughs> oh, God.
god. Anyway, by this point, you're feeling a little better about your PvP with your shiny new rank and decide to go back to Battle Royale. You think, well, I know I'm not the best, so I should play the team's mode. Instead of a 1 in 60 chance of winning, I'll at least have a 1 in 9 chance of winning. So you call up the spirit that's been lurking in your walls because remember, you have no friends, and you queue into the game. Luckily, your new friend isn't half bad, and if you get lucky with some good teammates, you actually might stand a chance. So once again, you jump off the battle bus, but surely everything works out better this time now that you've got your duo. Well, you successfully loot a structure, but you aren't too lucky with the mining this time, so you have to go to the nether, where you still don't get much. Christmas was shot. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing! There's nothing here! Be so for real! <laughs> but just as you're about to leave, some random motherfuckers just pop on through. Alright, I'm here. Hello! Oh! What the fuck? Get him! Get him! Huge. Got him. Nice! You meet up with the rest of your team because the whole point of playing the civilization mode was to have strength in numbers and realize that your team isn't quite all that. Oh god, this guy's a level one. He doesn't have pants. <laughs> oh, we're so cooked. No, we got Napa. We <laughs> we're so we cooked. We have to carry. I don't think our team is going to be much help in this. The other guy is a three star. You actually end up finding some trappers, which is a whole other thing that we aren't going to get into in this video. Oh, we went That's down. a trap. It's 100% a trap. I'm going in! <laughs> what? <laughs> Mac. But trappers are smart, and unless you know how their trap works, the smart thing to do is just to dig to them and kill them. Got him. Woo! Oh. Got him. Nice. Oh, let's go, dude! You're still pretty weak on gear, unfortunately, but it's been a solid game, and you're going into deathmatch with three eliminations. The spirit from your walls gets dropped, and you get the fuck out, because, again, you're not that guy, pal. Kill him! Okay! You manage to sneak in one more kill and end the game with four eliminations. Okay. Hey, he wasted his teleport. Surely. Uh, pretty solid game, not bad at all. But of course, there is a rule that spans across games and across platforms everywhere. You can't end on a loss. TQ, one more game. Surely this time you get lucky with mining and looting and get some kills. Found a diamond. Nice. What the? Diamonds? He's oh my so god, funny. more diamonds. And more diamonds. More diamonds. Holy shit. Dude. <laughs> Oh. Oh my god. Oh, dude. Hey. Goofy, uh. <laughs> Yo, oh dude, that's crazy. We have the fucking ice horse and the fucking ravager. I have a diamond sword and the, and the diamond chest plate. Call me LeBron the way we Avengers assemble because we went on a fucking rampage. I'm notching on you. He's notching? <laughs> Why is he notching? Dude, this guy has like six people on him. Let me hit him. Nice. Oh god, I'm gonna drown. Let me out! Oh my god. Oh my bad. That was such a troll, bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy spotted. Oh, he's so poor. Oh, it's it's so over. It's so over for this guy. They're stuck, they're stuck. Dude, our team has Wither Sickles, the Horn of Winter, the Ravager thingy, and Excalibur, bro. Dude. Our team is so stacked. Yeah, but this is the game! This is the game! This is the game! With our team having a bunch of legendary weapons and diamond gear, we were absolutely on track to win this game. No one would stand a chance. I'm cooked. Fuck! Bruh. So finally, after a long day of sitting in your room, sweating Minecraft PvP, you search Hoplite on YouTube, because at this point, it's like a drug. Even after you log off for the night, you still want more while you brush your teeth before bed. Not only do you go down the rabbit hole of creators that are really good at Minecraft PvP for some reason, Zova, Sweat God, and Doom Cow, just to name a few personal favorites, but you also find that Hoplite actually has its own YouTube channel, where the staff has a live show. Anytime there's a new update, where Marbar talks about new game modes, new legendary items, showcases new themed cosmetics, 
Olympics, and much more. Now, as you're falling asleep, you think, damn, was it worth it spending four hours playing Fortnite and Minecraft? And as you're reflecting, you remember everything from the sweet feeling of satisfaction when you get a kill, to the terrible feeling of dread when you know you're cooked, to Winton the Warden, to the screaming children. And you decide, yeah, I'll probably log on once in a while and hang out. It's a silly vibe. Me, I'm the same way. As much as it can be irritating and frustrating, there's a lot of fun to it. And there's a reason I keep coming back to it. With consistent updates and good YouTubers, this server is going places. A lot of people may say, nah, bro, Hoplite is dead. They don't average as many players as they used to, and it's just too sweaty. Which is true, but honestly, I don't really care. The staff has solved a lot of problems since its release only a year ago, and I enjoy logging on and playing a couple games once in a while. I don't usually make Hoplite videos anymore, but if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and watched another one. Thank you for watching. Peace.